This is all good automation representing EBN. This is uh, I moved from the sh from the uh, laboratory into the uh, garage, and I've connected up the uh, new PWM module that I've uh, designed and breadboarded here. This is a uh, a prototype. It's what I call a rat's nest prototype. Uh, here it is, such as it is. It uh, soon will be on a circuit board, and uh, able for purchase. Um, this is uh, the uh, scope and the PWM that uh, I'm getting out of that uh, that module right now. That The module is going to be capable of uh, pulse width modulation from 0 to 100% and a frequency uh, of uh, 100 hertz to 7 kilohertz and uh, <clears throat> it also has a voltage detection circuit in it that uh, uh, enables the output to the FET only when there's sufficient uh, voltage coming from the alternator. The uh, switch on voltage is 13.6 volts. This little LED that you see here behind the you know, head of the black paper is uh, the LED that indicates that uh, there's sufficient voltage to uh, uh, output uh, PWM to the output stage of the control module. Um, here's my on off switch. Here's a dummy load. I haven't connected it yet to my uh, uh, cell. The best, the next step is to to integrate this into my cell that'll be being installed in my uh, Ford Ranger. This is the Ford Ranger that I have it connected to. Um, I'll be using it to supply the uh, uh, voltage off the alternator circuit to demonstrate the uh, enabling and disabling of the PWM circuit, depending on the uh, whether the engine is running or not running. Uh, here is uh, the uh, shunt that I use to measure the uh, current in the output circuit. The uh, voltmeter on the left uh, displays uh, millivolts representing a, a direct correlation to the amps in the shunt to the right. So for every uh, millivolt you get on the meter, you get an amp of current in the output circuit. This is the uh, the FET that I'm using for turning on the output of the uh, PWM. Uh, this is the uh, dummy load that I have connected up to currently. It's just a couple of uh, 36 inch length, 332nd uh, stainless, stainless steel welding rods uh, tied together with it and it has a resistance of uh, 0.32 ohms. Okay, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, unit here, so I better get going here. I don't know video time I have left here. So uh, uh, what I'm going to do, do now is start the vehicle. You'll see right here this LED should go on when I start the vehicle. Okay, the vehicle's running and the uh, green LED is on. And uh, I'm going to adjust the PW in here. The, the signal on the top of the scope is the output uh, going uh, in the circuit. And there it's uh, almost full, full on PWM. There's full on PWM. Here's about 50% PWM. I'm going to go all the way on, show you that there's current in the output of the circuit. Currently I have uh, 8 amps of current flowing in the output circuit and uh, this load here is getting very warm. Anyway, there you are. There is a uh, PWM with uh, voltage detection for your uh, HHO needs. This is all good automation representing EDN. You notice that the uh, voltage uh, uh, drops off uh, kind of slow a little bit uh, when you turn the vehicle off, but it does shut off. So I think we're good to go here. This is all good automation.